Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Fox. As you guys know, you know the spiel. I usually say the whole thank you for clicking on this video, check out the description, and all that good stuff. Sorry there wasn't a gaming dead on Friday. We had a reason for that, but uh, hopefully we see you next Friday, hanging out in the chat on Mixer, and um, all that good stuff. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, and it's really hard to get my thoughts all together because um, I did a recording of it uh, a couple weeks ago, and my thoughts were all over the place, and I was jumping from this to that. So hopefully I can get my point across in this video for you guys to understand, you know, my opinion on the matter. And that is the whole single player versus multiplayer uh, topic that's going on or one versus the other, one or the other, um, you know, Xbox and PlayStation. I mean, it, it has turned into that whole debate where, um, where do you rather play on Xbox with the multiplayers or PlayStation with the single players? And, and I, I don't agree with anyone saying those things. Um, I, I have heard so many different people's opinion on the matter. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this video for a while and since then, it's even escalated since the whole God of War is amazing uh, debacle and everybody needs to try it for themselves and everything, which is cool. Uh, I just feel like it has amplified awesome. and this topic does link with some of the console war uh, stuff that goes on uh, in the gaming community. Whether you, you know, jump in with that crowd or not. Whether you agree with some of those aspects or you don't. I feel like to have someone say, choose one or the other, it's crazy to me, it's stupid to me, uh, I don't agree with that. I feel like even if I'm on Xbox, and that is my preferred console obviously, and I borrow my brother's PlayStation, whatever, whatever, I shouldn't have to pick, and I shouldn't be have to, I, I shouldn't have to be stuck with multiplayer stuff, uh, whether that's where Microsoft is leaning, or whether that's where Microsoft shines, I don't want that. I want the best of both worlds. I want to have that single player experience. I want to have that multiplayer experience with my friends in the same console. Because that's where I enjoy playing. So if I say Xbox is where I enjoy playing my games, I want to be able to say it has awesome games like, right? And then you could jump in and then fill in the blank. Some people may say, we we love Rise, Son of Rome so much, we're still mentioning it to this day, and that was a launch title. Then you have people that say, hey, I really enjoyed Quantum Break and ReCore recently, and those were really standout titles for me. And then you have people that say, well, those were okay games, but I know that either Microsoft can do better, or they should know that we want better. Um, so yeah. In my opinion, Rise was really good, but it's not on the same level as some people make it out to be. In my opinion, obviously, everything I say in these videos and this channel is my opinion. And then for me, um, if anything, I would say Quantum Break is more enjoyable than ReCore and Rise and um, even Sunset Overdrive, which some people really like that, and I like it as well. It's just not a giant hit hit for me. I think Quantum Break had a better story, I, I cared more for the characters, I want to see part 2. Um, and I know that people feel that way for the other games that I already mentioned. So, in that aspect, when I say I want the best of both, both worlds, it's because I really enjoy Halo uh, franchise, Halo series give it, uh, of games, and they deliver on both those fronts perfectly, in my opinion. and. Same thing with Gears of War. I care about the characters, I care about the story, I care what happens in the game. Sometimes, when it comes to those two titles right there, or those two franchises, sometimes I even jump into the campaign first before I even touch the multiplayer. And I love the multiplayer for them as well, and I really enjoy them. I play them for months at a time, uh, probably all the way until I get my next multiplayer fix, or the next series of that same game come out, or whatever. So I feel like in that aspect, Microsoft does that perfectly well with Halo and the Gears of War series. But obviously, within those franchises, they have hit and misses, aka this is why everybody was so upset 
because Halo 5's story was so shit or wasn't good enough or wasn't up to par. So the fact that people got upset over that, that tells you that people do care about those story-based uh, things over on the Xbox side. So I care about the campaign and I care about the multiplayer for those. And I like having that. Uh, it doesn't mean that I need another game on Xbox that's just like those that has both perfectly. It's okay if we get a story-based game that is on that same level of AAA, like Bloodbuster hit, um, action-filled, or just very story-driven. And it makes me care about the characters. Because I don't mind playing games like Life is Strange, where I could just play that single-player experience over and over uh, different times. Uh, I, my favorite Life is Strange was the, the first one with, uh, with Max. Uh, I played that so many times right after another just because i cared about the story and i care about that world and i wanted to learn more about the other characters as well you know to the point where i went outside of the game and i started reading other things yeah. online and but learning more around. and seeing it through the fans point of view uh, yeah. other people's point of view so i really like that in yeah. video games when a, when a no game one. could impact have that impact in your life and make you care about the characters or make you want to see more of them in another part, part two, prequel, whatever the case may be, that's really good. And we need more games like that. I don't care when it came out, uh, if it's an old franchise, if it's a new franchise, if it's a reboot, I don't care. If a game is good, it's good. It doesn't matter when it came out, it doesn't matter where it comes out. Because this could also be the case on the PlayStation side. And when people say the PlayStation only has those single player experiences and that's it, well, there's a reason why people want to play SOCOM again. There's a reason why people want Killzone to be better, and maybe for them to bring that back later on in the future. Not right now, because I think everybody's happy and enjoying Horizon. So, I think they're, uh, they're good on that. That Killzone series could take a break, you know? So. But who knows? People might want to have a Gears of War-like experience over on the PlayStation side. Uh, I remember, what was it, Warhawk or something, that was online, and that was crazy, really fun, that was crazy good, uh, really underrated, I think, over on the PlayStation 3, and uh, it was online, and it, you could fly in planes, you could get vehicles, it was kind of like Battlefield, but it was only on PlayStation 3, but obviously it didn't look like Battlefield, it looked, uh, I don't know, I guess kind of like Fortnite, like graphically, I think? And um, and it was third person stuff like that as well, but but either way, it was really fun game, and they had that for a little bit. But the thing about PlayStation sometimes is that if the game is okay or is bad, they're really quick to shut down those servers, and I don't like when they do that because they were still playing people Warhawk. They're still what? There were still people playing Warhawk back when that got shut down, so that kind of sucks. And then. I don't even want to mention bag or whatever that that whole thing happened that didn't work out whatever so yeah when when you see PlayStation and you see those those standout titles those great storylines those interesting characters uh, the things that they do uh, that make you want to go over there jump on the PlayStation play that story based game and whether you choose to stay there or not that is your choice because at the end of the day. It is personal preference, so somebody might enjoy Uncharted more so than someone who likes Last of Us more so than somebody who likes just the Halo story, and that's why they buy Halos, because of the story. So, yeah, it depends on the person and your experience and what kind of game you enjoy and everything like that, obviously. But I want both. I, I want both of those things. I want games like how everybody's highlighting on the PlayStation side. I want that. And I also enjoy and keep giving me games like Halo and Gears of War because I also really enjoy those multiplayer. I like my multiplayer games. Uh, sometimes I choose one over the other, but at the end of the day, you know, give me a couple weeks, I, I love my Tomb Raider. And I'll go back to that and I'll just play Tomb Raider for a while. Uh, so... I like having the experience with both. I'm not going to choose one or the other like some people are doing and, and saying that if you're on Xbox, you're just multiplayer and 
you know, Sony, you're just single player. It's not like that. It shouldn't be like that. Uh, so I want both. And if Xbox can deliver some of those things that PlayStation delivering with their single player experience on the Xbox side, besides the, the story of Halo and Gears, they're intertwined. So that's like a full package game, in my opinion. You know, I, I also want those story driven games as well. I like having action adventure games. Even if you have the indies that have good stories, even if you have platformers and stuff like that, that's all nice. But those are like, they're on the side. I, I want to have, um, a giant. I don't know how to say it. A giant meal. I want a triple A title with the big boys, and then I'll have the other games here and there that I'll play, and they're interesting. You know. In between the big boys. That sounds kind of weird the way I say it, but hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. It's always nice to have uh, those titles that stand out, those exclusives that stand out, and that help um, help the console stand out and say, you know, this is why you would get an Xbox, or this is why you would get a PlayStation, or a Nintendo, or whatever. Um, they have their own quirky games over there as well, too, but... I, I do like having the different options within my own console as well. So just because Xbox is settling with the whole multiplayer stuff, which obviously they do it well, and it doesn't mean I only want Sea of Thieves and PUBG. It does not mean that at all to me. I also want more than that, right? So, okay. Then, on the other side, then you have the mixed messaging that is going on right now with the fact that people are playing Battle Royale games and that's uh, just an online multiplayer shooter type of thing. And that's such a big hit to the point where you have people copying each other and then you have other games that are already no well known in the industry. They're going out of their way to fit this in into their game. So it is a bit confusing when you have that popularity going on and then on the other side, you do have people that complained about Titanfall 1 and Battlefront 1 and they were missing campaigns and they only have multiplayer games. I mean, multiplayer experiences. And then when they did part two to both of those games, they added the campaign. Uh, and yeah, that made it a little bit better because the campaign was interesting. Uh, I think in Titanfall 2 more so than Star Wars in my opinion. But that also depends on personal preference. And then... The, the sad part was that the multiplayer was lacking, again, in my opinion, with those as well. So when I played Titanfall, it felt slower. When I played Battlefront, it felt boring. But I did like a different mode that they had on that one. So Starfighter Assault, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. But the rest of the game, the the, the shooting aspect of it, the, the, just, the reason why you would go online and play those team-based shooter, first person or third person, whatever, that was slow, right? So it is a bit confusing when you have these mixed messaging going on. And I feel like sometimes maybe they don't know what they want to do with the game. They're not sure. Maybe they want to see where the wind blows. And then either way, I feel like the fans or some of the community is not going to be happy regardless. Unless it's a near perfect experience, in my opinion. That's from what I see, anyway. And I also want to point out, since I'm, you know, talking about other titles, third person titles, or I mean, third party titles, sorry, that it seems like third party is also struggling with this as well, because, you know, like with Ubisoft, they have, they, well, they mostly have story based stuff, and, and I think Assassin is all just single player experience with boxes or whatever and leveling up but I feel like they're also experimenting with the whole games as a service thing and and they got some backlash from doing that with uh, Rainbow Six but now it's successful uh, same thing with um, what is it called well it goes recon I forgot what it's called oh Wildlands see that was also another thing that's kind of like it, it was really slow in the beginning nobody cared about it and now it's getting its traction now it's, you know, having more content. Uh, Bethesda as well. well. Most of their games are single player based and a lot of them are really good. But then, like, somehow they missed the mark with Elder Scrolls Online. I feel like 
not that many people enjoy it as opposed to Skyrim, which is one of their best. So uh, they, I feel like they, they don't know what to do, kind of. Well, some of them. And then you have giant fails over on the EA and the Activision side where they're just kind of like just trying to get your money. Even if you ask for single player experience or multiplayer experience, they're just trying to grab your, your money for however much they can. And I don't know what's going on in that camp. And then right now it seems like the person who, well, the developers who are listening the best maybe uh, would be CD Projekt Red and, and they're just doing and saying all the right things and people are just can't wait for the next game that they have to show off and they praise Witcher for what it was or for what it is and I feel like I guess maybe them they're listening properly and that's just a single player experience they don't have any multiplayer shooter stuff they don't have any battle royale stuff so that's pretty interesting when you have all this mixed messaging going on what's popular or what people like versus what they don't like uh, versus the hardcore want this uh, exclusives and the casuals just want to play whatever's popular aka Fortnite um, so it is kind of crazy when you think about all those things but for me at the end of it I just want to say I want the, that experience I don't think it should be uh, the one versus the other I want the experience of having the option to play both whether it be one console, whether it be on any console, whether the title is kind of just an old one coming back, continuation, a reboot, I want that. I want my single player experience to be really good, have an awesome story with great characters, and I want my multiplayer to be awesome and fun and rewarding, not trying to take all my money and drain me for whatever I got left to just for a freaking box that I don't know what's inside of it. And... Obviously, I'm leaning more towards the traditional shooter aspect of, like, simple team deathmatch and stuff. I don't care for Battle Royale at all, but I know some people do. But I, I but the point is, I want all that. And if Xbox can deliver that, that's great. If PlayStation has that and they're delivering that and everybody's happy with that, that's great. I don't see why it should be one or the other. Which one do you like versus which one, you know, is on your console or not. So that's my opinion on the matter. I think I said everything I needed to say. I know that you could throw in a lot of um, other things like RPG games uh, versus like maybe MMO games, but I don't like those and I don't play those. But I know that those like are, are linked for, with uh, single player experiences and multiplayer experiences. So hopefully uh, you guys understood where I was coming from and ha you know my take on the matter. And it's basically, I am greedy and I want it all. <laughs> and I hope it's good. And Microsoft needs to do some standout titles. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. My turn. Oh.